Howdy folks, what we have here is the latest generation of electronic choker for logging. Now, the main difference between this one, the latest version and the version before this is, the version before this has a raised ring around the top here, which makes it harder to push the little uh, locking pin in. Um, it also has two Allen key screws on the top here. This only has one here and this is your on off screw. You have five 4mm Allen screws all the way around here to hold, to hold it together, hold the um, top cap and the insides in here. Um, when you do these up, I've taken the four out already, when you do these up to do them up, do the, don't do them up really tight, you only need to do them up sort of snug like that, they don't come undone in a hurry. Because um, if you do them up any tighter, you may struggle to get them undone. And always use a bit of grease with them to get them undone. Right, this here is the aerial. Um, these are just two protection bumps for your locking pin. Here's your hinge pin with a 5mm grub screw in the bottom of it, back of it. Locking pin, this is the bottom of your choker. You can see this had a bit of wear. It's also had a hard life with a bit of a burn on it from the ropes. It gets a lot of dirt in there now, but oh well, something to deal with. Uh, right, I'll pull it apart, pull this out, and you'll see the inside. Inside we have a piece of cork which just sits on in there up that way, and it just keeps the servo in place and keeps the battery terminal from moving around and gives a bit of shock absorption that's what it looks like inside we also have a, a wiper red wiper seal o-ring in there as well just a quick outside view while it's together they also now have a warning sticker on them saying do not use solvents in them um, they use two See uh, two batteries in them, lithium ones. I find the Panasonic ones are better, the best ones. Uh, here is our latest generation of the servo in them, which is now fully metal encased. They last a bit longer than, quite a bit longer than the old ones. They're not quite circular, so they have a bit of an oval teardrop shape to them. The old square plastic, the old rectangular plastic, cheap plastic servos. That one, they would only last. If you're lucky, you get two or three months out of them the old ones, or if you're really unlucky you've got a day out of them. These ones should last. Oh, what have I got out of them? Five or six months out of them I think. But they're, they're still prone to dying with a good shock load. Um, also have an o-ring around here. Two, three more Allen grub screws here. A flat bladed screwdriver like this will be your best friend for cleaning out these grub screws. The one on the hinge pin and for doing any maintenance on these. <clears throat> this is your locking pin. We have this new version of the locking pin is a bit thicker than the old ones. They have a step down here in them. It makes them a bit stronger. Um, I'm yet to break one of these ones. This pin here will shear or you can shear off the, the edges of those. I've only had one do that so far in a year and a half, I think. Um, the old ones of these broken half because where they poke through here would overlies over after use and that would cause if this depending where this was sitting in the which way it was sitting in the and the choker would snap it through where the pin goes through it uh, these springs yeah they do wear out you can stretch them back back into shape a little bit um, Uh, here is our on off switch here, so this just screws right in and pushes that up against the switch there. Uh, this is the inside here is the brain, you don't need to go inside that at all, don't need to touch it. You may have to change the servo every now and then. You will get about three weeks out of a set of batteries. You may get more depending on how you're using them. I have heard they were uh, getting in some parts of the states. They are getting um, over a month's 
life out of the battery so I think I've had the best I've had is three and a half weeks um, I'll just finish pulling it apart um, you can see the cam which the top of which the the rocket cam here which this here rests against which lock which ends up which will lock it um, just quickly pull apart there's the three more one here it is Just these two three more Allen key screws, grub screws, and the on off screw here is what keeps these two pieces together. Right, there's the inside of this. Uh, this is the cam which the servo drives, aerial receiver, two locating pins which just help locate it when you put it back to put the two halves back together. Uh, this is your spring cam which activates which the um, servo and the cam turns so when it sits in here it pushes this backwards for it to release. And there's your aerial there. This here is your timing spring. Now this is the piece which will give you the most frustration. Um, if it's not setting down the hill, it's either got flat batteries or this timing spring is out of whack, which it can do just by looking at you the wrong way. Um, quite often, you, if it's when the, you know, I'll put it, put it back together. Now when this cam is sitting here like this here, the spring should be down. So I'll just quickly put a grub screw back in it to hold it together. That is in its set position. So that spring will be up. Now, for when it is released, I have to do it manually because I don't have a um, release button. Now the choker is released. Now the spring should be in the position that it is now. If it is up, like this here where I've pushed it up, your timing is out and it may or may not set down the hill um, if it doesn't set every say 20 cycles down the hill and back um, I wouldn't bother trying to adjust it it's just you're just gonna drive you insane trying to get it right but if it's not set in every I don't know two three drags t turns that cycles down the hill take it apart and all you'll probably need to do is with your flat screwdriver Let's just give it a little tweak so you put a, a little tiny bend in that and that will generally you may have to play with it a few times you may have to just tweak it here a little bit you can take the spring off by just undoing those two screws and that spring will come out if you need to replace it if you want you can but it's just as easy to tweak it just like that put a little bend in it and that will solve a lot of your problems um, so therefore you just cycle it through as many times as you have to so that you know it's going to be setting for the guys down the hill because that's quite frustrating. Um, so yeah that's that's the main thing that goes wrong with these things and if you can't get it and you think that it's right and it's still not going this switch could be out. could be a loose wire in this thing. These things are generally pretty reliable. But um, they, they do get a hard life, as you can see with well, this one's had a hard life. Um, I've ripped the complete bottom out of one of these before, I've had this here rip off. The sliders fail when they get too thin, they pull apart. It's just one of those things with these things. Um, if you've got any questions about them, 
just put a comment below and um, I'll see what I can do. Uh, yes, and just keep them greased. Whenever you put your grub screws in here, you're taking them out, make sure there's a little bit of grease on them. It makes the grub screws go in a lot easier and these ones. Um, maybe a little bit of grease in your on-off screw. Don't need to worry about your aerial. That shouldn't come loose. They can come loose. Um, but overall, they're a pretty simple thing, really. But they can drive you almost insane. 